and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more dredge action. As y'all know, we're going through um, all of our, uh, all of everybody's favorite decks before M20 comes out. And for this one, Puppy's going to join us here for a little bit. Right, Puppy? Puppy's so camera shy. Look towards the camera. Oh, well, that's her name, Puppy. She's my doggo. She's the best. Um, we usually have, you know, Hawkeye, this is Hawkeye's room, so Puppy's not in this room very often. So, like, whenever Puppy's in this room, she's all nervous. She's like, I'm not supposed to be in here. Um, but, yeah, so we got some dredge going on here. As you all know, this is our self-mill deck. Um, going back to, like, the regular dredge, the last time we played this, we tried out Tamiyo. We tried splashing green for Tamiyo, and it didn't work out too well. So going back to our, our normal dredge list here. The only uh, update that I'm really wanting to do here is I'm adding in two Price of Betrayal as a way to answer uh, Narset, because Narset is such a problem for us. And so I just want something cheap to answer Narset. I don't really want Elder Spell, because Elder Spell being double black is, is pretty tough for us. So I just want a nice, cheap, efficient answer to Narset. So that's why we got the Price of Betrayal. Uh, plus, that, that could be a, a one-mana spell, which honestly could help us with like mission briefing price of betrayal or even just casting one mana spells like help us get arc light phoenix back also so having one mana spells is is pretty nice um uh just in that case also so let's try out a couple of those um yeah so that's what we got all right so let's let's go ahead and play this deck this deck's not so easy to play i know i've heard from some different people that have you know tried playing with playing the deck struggling with it and everything but Let's try to get some wins here to uh, send our dredge deck off well, because this deck's been a lot of fun, and I know that it's been very popular. Y'all have uh, really liked it, been a um, deck that a lot of people have been wanting to see more often. All right, so this looks pretty decent. We don't have... Our most important card, Drowned, <clears throat> Drowned Secrets, but still looks pretty decent. So that's what we're going to be kind of looking for here is Drowned Secrets. I want Land or Drowned Secrets. Both of those are neither of those. Hmm. I'm going to keep the opt. Ashok isn't worth giving a hard counter to your opponent. I don't, I don't know what that means. What do you mean? <clears throat> you mean like for their Command the Dread Horde, I guess, if they get the Ashoks back? There's all the lands. Nightmare. Could use a couple of those. So yeah, just basically having Ashiok be just, you know, gain gain some life, mill us for four. I was ho hoping to hit a, a Narc Amoeba, because a Narc Amoeba would, would give us a blocker to keep the Ashiok alive for a turn. But alas, we didn't. Our deck's much different without Drowned Secrets, that's for sure.
This is gonna be tough to win. When he land drops. Really, it's like the worst spot for an Archimiba to be. Not a great spot for Arclight Phoenix to be either. Puppy, why don't you sit up? People can see you. Alright, well, this game didn't work out for us. What are you doing? Ugh. You want to go this way? Demon of catastrophes. Ugh, puppy. Puppy, we're getting we're getting beat up here really bad. Need you to save us. Alright, fine. Here you go. Okay. So I'm going to play Ritual of Soot over Ashiok. And cast down instead of the charter course and call it a day. Perfect. Drown Secrets. We're keeping. The rest of our hand, not so good, but we got our most important card in our deck, our, our engine card. Now, Discovery's a good one. Alright, so we're, we're doing it. Boo. Boo, Pride Mate. Hmm, I should keep opt. Yay, land. All right, so if I play Jace, they get to kill Jace. That is a turn of them not attacking me and gives me another turn to set up and everything. And it's possible. It's possible we hit an Archimiba for defense also. Did not? Alright. Illusion. So we're not in like grave danger or anything right now. So I think we get to play this Drown Secrets. 
this other one, even though we won't be able to get an, an Arc Light Phoenix back here, of course, because I'm not playing three spells. Oh, no. Both other Jaces. I do just want another land. I'll take that. I think I I think I have four Jaces in here, right? Yeah, I got four. Hey, Lifer, thanks for that tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. Alright, now here we go. We got Discovery and Mission Briefing. Perfect. Yeah, now here we go. So we got half our library left. This is where we're going to start finding some phoenixes, hopefully. Haven't seen one yet. There we go. One phoenix. Two phoenix. Keep that. Only the two Phoenix. I was really hoping to just swing for lethal this turn, to be honest. These things have lifelink. So there's still two more Phoenixes left in our last 13 cards. Okay, so they'll be at eight. Oh, and they're attacking with the blood letter. All we gotta do is eight damage. That doesn't seem very hard. We can cast down this thing too, it's not legendary. That's convenient. So I, I have lethal by just, um, you know, cast downing this thing, casting creeping chill, but I want more phoenixes. We have nothing else to mill from our deck. That's, that's worthwhile. All right, even though we had some phoenixes down towards the bottom of the library, we got there because we got the drowned secrets. So we were able to get there. Even though they were way down at the bottom. Our first one was like, you know, 27-ish cards in library whenever we saw our first one. All right, going to take out one Jace and add in another cast down here on the draw. Let's do that. Hey, Ralph Guru. Joining just in time to see some sweet dredge action. So 
Sand's not beating very much, but we do get hit, hit land drops. Which that's something we need to do. But doesn't have drown secrets. So we do need to hit like six land drops with this deck. But man, we need drown secrets also. Hmm. Our mulligans can look really, really bad. What do we think? Are we gonna draw drown secrets? Like they're they're going down to six. So it's not like their hand their hand's probably not gonna be that great. You know, like the deck the the quality of deck that we're playing and like their six card hand. I think I don't I think I'll just keep this not so good hand because we could we could really mulligan to be like a an awful hand <laughs> with this kind of deck. And so yeah, like we'll just you know we can hard cast an Argamibo, we can you know cycle cycle with these. Phoenix isn't bad. Just playing Phoenix on turn four isn't so bad. Secrets, everything's perfect. What a great keep. So smart. All right, Narcomiba, go get him. Go get him. Man, opponent's looking pretty jelly right now. Can we stop drawing Narcomibas, please? <laughs> hmm. So, of course, we want to find... Just casting this. We want to find Ritual of Sight. Or more lands. Like, we're going to need a couple more lands. Get, like, Phoenixes back and everything. Oh, no. That is bad. That is really bad. Come on. Attack with the Pride Mate. Oh, we need to stop. Oh, we need to stop this. This, uh. Drawing, just. Mono drawing Narcomibas and Creeping Chills and stuff. Alright, just doing this because I want to land. Oh, this can't get. This really can't be going any worse. Really can't be going any worse. Because if I would hit the land drop there, then maybe the next turn, if I draw another land and have six mana, if we would have milled over a Ritual of Soot, I'd be able to... Um, would have been able to cast it. So we just have to top deck Ritual of Soot. Like, that's our only option here. No. All right, 0 and 1. Aggro decks are always kind of a problem for us. Aggressive decks, and even even if just you know like those cards, like you know Johnny's Pride Mate is no no joke when you're not playing removal. You know it's very very big when you're not playing removal. It's no joke. Wild Growth Walker doesn't even get that big that fast.
And, you know, we had, like, the four draw steps in a row there of, like, we drew the Drown Secrets, and it was awesome. But then all of our draw steps, draw steps after that were, you know, the two mana 1-1, one, one, two mana 1-1, one, one, four mana deal three, gain three. Drawing the worst cards that we could possibly be drawing <laughs> every draw after the Drown Secrets. Yuck. All right, so let's... Because, like, even lands would be much better. So let's try again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, modern... You could you get to dredge a lot, a lot faster, a lot more successfully in modern. Espa Control. Like always, really need to find these Drown Secrets. Be a bad idea. Okay. That's a pretty good one. You delectable snack. That's a pretty good one. Ashok then Jace, we get to mill ourselves pretty fast with these cards. If I had Drown Secrets in play, I'd be, I could, you know, like maybe mill them and everything. Not my Jace. Ooh. Ah, oh, boo. Well, they like that card on top. They're keeping it on top. They gotta have Elder Spell, right? I've got it. What was that card? Just a fifth land? So yeah, they got big Teferi. So they definitely have big Teferi in hand. They didn't have land. No, not Narset. Mind and body should keep in mind. Narset, so much trouble. I'll protect you. Could use some training. This you just let me know if you're involved. My victory was but a dream. Hmm. 
guess I should I should have done this first before activating Ashiok, of course. Should have done that first. Milled over a whole bunch of lands though, which is not ideal. Remember Five lands and a thought erasure. Nightmares remain. Trust me, I have a plan. Alright, narset has gone. Just the trick for this. But yeah, no, I, I definitely should have cleared out those other two cards in their library. Or from the graveyard. Dovin's veto? That's rude. Thoughtfulness before action. Hey, what's up, Dirk? I'm up for a challenge. It's always an answer. Reckless and ill refined. Didn't really matter though. Or I guess it did matter. Yeah, never mind. They had seven cards. Yeah, so they wouldn't have been able to flip the Escanta right then. Yeah, so it did matter. Yep, there's the big Teferi we knew about. This is Just want to kill Narset game. here. We'll see if like me milling them pays off or not. You know, I'm, I'm trying to. You know, mill them out this way because I, I feel like they they like will have enough defense to stop me from from killing them. Now oh, they just had elder spell also. That led better next to plan. Still have much I mean, that's to just learn. that's just got to be game, right? Farewell. Nothing is paying off. Worst defeat. Nothing's paying off. But yeah, we have beaten we have beaten Teferi Emblem with this deck before. We did that by mailing him out. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I guess I should have just been milling myself here game one. I really should have. I am not going to sit this one out. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, it probably is, Dirk. Only time will tell. I think you're you're probably safe there. All right, taking out the chills. Taking out the chart, of course. And one Narc Amoeba. Yeah, no, I, I needed to, I needed to mill myself there.
It's usually game one, it's the best to mill myself, and then games two and three, mill them. That's that's the so I've kind of found being the best. And I, I kind of was wishy-washy and, and decided to go towards them. But I already had a phoenix in the graveyard and everything. I should have just kept on milling myself. Yeah. Oh, puppy's not in my lap anymore. I'm gonna move the camera up, sorry. All right, let's get these land drops. It's just, do I want to discovery on turn two? Yeah, I think so, because they can't, I mean, they could, they can have Thought Erasure on turn two, but they can't Teferi on turn two. And we're gonna need a lot more lands. This will help us find lands. Those are not lands. Ditch those. Okay, it's land. Please, no thought erasure. Pass turn. Never lucky. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, there there are no cards that are named. There are no. There are no cards with like the keyword dredge in this because that was a, a keyword from the original Ravnica block. But that's just referring to cards that gain, like, referred to a mechanic that wanted, that uh, were cards that had value when they were in your graveyard. And that's kind of what we're doing here is we were putting cards in our graveyard. Um... Going for me because we're going to try to get back. I'm going to get back this Phoenix this turn. Two, four, five. Do I have another mission briefing in here? I don't. I 
I kind of want to just be milling them. Oh, there is a mission brief briefing in here. Awesome. Sweet, Triple Phoenix. Phoenixes. Lame. More birds. And the birdies attack. Birdies attack. Attack some more. I'm always a step ahead. Let's try this. All right. Time to start milling them. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. Mm -hmm. So I have four negates in my deck, right? I have practiced against many foes like you. Your We've only seen one so far. Alright, sweet. The Phoenix has got there. Awesome, Tranka. Way to go. Saying you're 8 0 in your local store with the first list of Mono Green Tron. Good job. Way to go. Alright, let's uh, keep this the same. All right, felt like that was our first game. Played pretty well. And ended up getting there. This is definitely a mill them kind of hand. That's for sure. Alright, leave my guard down. Hopefully no Narset. Yuck. There are so many meditate and prepare. All right, one elder spell gone. I return where you slumber. And yeah, just getting the, the Ashok under the Dovin's veto. Just hope, hoping they don't have an elder spell here. Hope, hoping we get to untap mind. and have the negates available. All 
Okay, well, they can't Thought Erasure and Elder Spell. This Elder Spell. Mighty that was worst case scenario for us, them having the Elder Spell. It's unfortunate. Ugh. Gross. We got everything. Can we draw Jace? Nope. Yeah, get rid of that Teferi and Dovin's Veto. And get rid of that. Well, that was a good mill. There, Teferi and Veto. That's bad news. Okay, our 21 land deck. We need to not draw any more ever again, please. Now not draw any more ever again. Hmm. Let's just pass. If I, of course, dispersal, they get to choose whether it's predator or binding. I'm not really, I'm not really casting dispersal. We kind of need another phoenix to block this thing. So mission briefing can be four man in a gate. Oh my gosh, why are all these lands? There's only 21 in the deck. It's our 11th. 11 out of, four, out of 20 cards. Wait, Dovin's Veto can't be countered. What am I doing here? Forgot about that. Well, we got rid of all the Drown Secrets.
<laughs> Forgot they couldn't be countered. <sighs> Haven't seen too many Dovin's vetoes recently. So now even Arclight Phoenix doesn't save us because they get to bounce it. So we're dead. I'm known for my excellent timing. Yeah, we finally get a non like a, a non-land spell that we can cast and then it just gets thought of Rager. But yeah, they're just sitting on all these just counter spells. Their hand was really, really good. They had that elder spell, which was perfect. Like like exactly what I didn't want them to have, they had. Kind of both of those games. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Um, you know, like whenever I was playing my cards, I was like, all right, well, hopefully they don't have this and X and they had it, and then hopefully they don't have Y and they had it, and yuck. I liked my hand. I could have, yeah, I could have just sat, sat back on not playing Drown Secrets on turn two and just sit back on direct on negate, but I don't think that's really saving us because, as we saw, they just had a bunch of thought erasures and they would have just been taking the negates anyway. So this is our first time not doing good with the dredge deck out of the many times we've played it. Uh, I, yeah, it's first time. It's our first time really not doing good with the deck. Um, the Esper matchups are usually like exactly what I want to be facing. Uh, I think I think I kind of messed up the game one though. I think I maybe I would have had a good chance of winning the game one if I would have milled myself. So I, I think that was the game. Like the the margins on this deck are are like you know razor thin, and you have to take full advantage of all of your cards. Um, and yeah, the twelve, the twelve lands and twenty-one draws. Yeah, I mean that that doesn't help at all. Uh, that we had there that last time. Um, so, so how I played that first game really cost me because I got to get that game, and then you know would had like you know one of the two post war games there. Uh, Um, but there we go. So that's Dredge. Um, there's just two two matches here. Uh, no, I do. Yeah, so I do donation decks every all the time. Um, yeah. So basically, as you see here, we had we had a donation deck uh, earlier today. We did for the first slot. So basically, if you if you'd like to donate for a deck, you can pick whatever day you'd like me to play it, and then first, second, third, or fourth for which slot you would like me to play it um let's play let's just play another match with this deck do we just go to like the we'll just play let's just play one in ranked here i want to play one more match with the deck we'll send it over here to ranked cool knock you it's twenty dollars for a donation deck to have you know have you know have your deck played on stream during like throughout a league in whichever time slot you would like. Um, if besides that, you can always just send me uh, deck ideas. I'm you know I may not I may not play them, but that's that's something you can always just kind of do as well for anybody if you you know if you're like hey maybe you'd like to try this deck on stream uh you know like no guarantees that i'll play it or or like if i do when i'll play it but the 
the decks that are donation decks, I write D, D next to it for donation deck. That's how you can tell which decks are donation decks. Well, our hand looks pretty awful, but we'll see what we can get here. That discovery did not help us out too much. It did get a Narcomoeba in the bin, but... That's a good draw. That's an engine card. Start filling the graveyard. Good draw, good draw. Got a Phoenix in there. We're good against Paradise Druids. Our opponent doesn't play anything but Paradise Druids. We're good. So there's one opt in the graveyard. We'd have to just draw an opt here. Or mission briefing. That was the other card. I didn't quite say that. Wow. There we go. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. That was the yeah, that was the best radical idea ever. That was really the best radical idea ever. That drew me exactly mission briefing and then the mission briefing hit creeping chill phoenix. That was like the best ever. All right. We're going to game two, up a game. So I don't really want Ashiok here, especially on the draw. It's going to be hard to protect Ashiok. Uh, like, they're just going to play big creatures, though. Big creatures are tough to deal with. Like, that's why we've got these cast downs in. But they're tough to deal with. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I really like the audio and the for for rekindling Phoenix, like the sound effects and the animation, or for ArcLight Phoenix. I think I might have said rekindling, but for ArcLight Phoenix, just a really cool card. Oh, I forgot to change from Tezzeret. The last like four times that I've been Tezzeret, we've had like really bad luck in the different leagues. I, I remember thinking that during during like the first match, and then I forgot about it until just now. And yeah, we hadn't been winning too much. But that game was really sweet. Got some good luck there. All right, well, we drew two of our worst draw steps here with Jason Creeping Chill. Okay, there's our best draw step. We need lands. Gonna need land. Okay, to land.
I'm hoping that they respect Jace and, you know, kill Jace and not kill me. I'm basically playing the Jace here trying to gain some life from it. Ugh. That's really annoying. That's just like that extra one point of damage. Momentary set. Stupid creeping chills are sitting in my hand and not, not in my graveyard to surveil over. There we go. Man, radical idea has been nice for us. Draw an opt? No, not an opt. So if I, if I cast Mission Briefing here... No, I'm just going to cast Radical Idea. We'd have an extra look at an Opt if I would cast... The mission briefing. All right, game three. Tough matchup with Gruel. Creatures are so big. No, not turn one land or off. No. Not turn one land or off. I really don't like seeing us mill over four lands like this, of course, like where we're at right now. I don't know what else. I guess they just cast, kept a bunch of red spells in hand. They can't cast. I guess. Not lands. I need to draw the lands. Good. Hmm. 
So, like, we have all of our creeping chills that we'll be able to get back. All right, come on, draw land here. Draw land. Hmm. One more try. Draw land. Ugh. Drawing the creeping chill is the worst possible draw, also. But we got this. Cause now I have opt mission briefing opt, so we're good. We're getting all four phoenixes back. All we need, all we have to do, or the other three phoenixes, all we have to do is hit one creeping chill. And there we go. All right. Well, it took our opponent having a, a pretty bad hand here, but we're getting there. This turn was going to be quite good for us anyway, though. Whew. Yeah, we just just got through like our whole library. Yeah. And we get every Phoenix back. And there we go. GG's. All right. I'm getting a win over there in Mythic. That's what we need to do is head on over to Mythic. All right. Well, I'm glad we played an extra, played it, an extra match there for our deck. Um, I do like the the price of, of betrayals. I'm still not completely sold, honestly, that the Enter the God Eternals are really worth it. You know, like they're mostly for, like they're basically for mono red, but they do cost five mana. You know, five mana is a lot. Um, but I like the the price of betrayals and everything there. Um, Ashiok's were pretty good for us. You know, it's not, not spectacular. Still, still not sure if just playing two more Charter Course over the two Ashioks would be worth it there. But a pretty sweet little deck here. Enter comes in, yeah, like I said, against Mono Red, because you do get to hit your land drops a good amount, like, with this deck, like, with the card draw and everything, but, yeah. And it, because, like, Enter the God Eternal's milling yourself for four also, is pretty sweet and if you do get to kind of stabilize against red mono red and you play a longer game like you have your mission briefings like for seven like after your first enter the god eternals like two turns later you mission briefing copy your enter the god eternals you know recast or like recast it kind of thing um so that's pretty cool oh yeah i wanted to try kefnets i forgot about kefnet yeah maybe kefnet would be better than enter the god eternals i could see that because like i was saying it in theory it's kind of cool but i haven't really got to pull it off too much but yeah, Kefnet's not a bad one. Um, yeah. Yeah, replacing Opt when it if yeah Opt rotates that's that's gonna be a really tough card to replace. Cause, like we'll see if there's like any kind of like one mana draw card kind of thing. This deck really needs cyclers. Like one one mana is pretty important. Chart of course you know is fine. You you can replace that. But yeah, everything else is staying. Like nothing else here is rotating. So yeah, there there could be some stuff in M20 or even in the next set also that that helps out this deck. Yeah, Kefnet does sound pretty sweet. I should just change that before the next time we play it. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> yeah, the copied spells do uh, count towards the three per turn. Yes, yes. Because you're still casting it, so you're still casting something, so you're good there. All right, yeah, we'll update that right there. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad we played that that uh, third game there, third match there. Uh, but there we go, that's Dredge. This has been a, a really sweet deck to play.
and everything. Been really, really liked this deck uh, for sure. All right, so yeah, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.